Does anyone remember the Golden Palace? Good day, followers. Today we will be talking about the lesser known sequel show spin-off to the Golden Girls you never knew existed, The Golden Palace. Thank you for being a friend. Thank me for being a friend? No, 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 no. <laughs> no, thank you for being a friend. That goes to you, Blanche, Dorothy, Rose, Sophia. For all the years of pure entertainment in the 80s, you provided me with many half hours of bonding time over the years with my grandparents, which, by the way, were extremely young in the 80s. However, like most good things in life, it sadly had to come to an end. And that's what happened to the Golden Girls. Dorothy, B. Arthur to be exact, had enough of working in television. She'd been working since the 70s when she starred in the show Maud, so you could understand her fatigue. Plus, she wanted to go out on top, which I can also understand. Better to burn out brightly than to fade away, right? Well, after B's departure, the rest of the Golden Girls still had some steam in them. NBC originally greenlit the series and agreed to 13 episode deal. However, at the time, CBS got wind of the pitch and started a bidding war for the show. NBC didn't want to put up much of a fight because the Golden Girls had been slipping a little bit in the ratings in the seventh season. So off to CBS they went. CBS put the Golden Palace in a viewing block with Major Dad, Designing Women, and Bob. Bob short for Bob Newhart. Come on, do I gotta spell everything in this video? This was to combat ABC's popular TGIF lineup. The story pretty much picks up right where the Golden Girls ended with the girls in the empty house, with the movers and all, then the plot point is revealed that the rest of the Golden Girls are going to invest in a hotel and run it. However, this hotel comes with some personnel that work there. Wait, 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 wait. Some of these supporting cast members I've seen before. Wait, is that Cheech? Wait, is that Don Cheadle? You're telling me War Machine is in this? Anyways. The series pretty much focused on the relationships between the guests and the hotel staff. There was a lot of guest stars, even ones from the previous series. Dorothy herself even made an appearance. The first episode gained decent ratings, but after the first couple weeks, they started steadily declining. In fact, the whole block was, as they would call it at the time, the Friday night death slot. And thus, the whole block was canceled. The only show to survive for another season was Bob. Okay. Am I surprised? No. No, no. Not after that punch to the gut, super heartbreak ending to the Golden Girls. Right. Listen. I think you don't have to say anything. After that, it's hard to just move on. It's kind of like a breakup in a relationship. That's what makes these shows different from movies, is that you're steadily and consistently checking in with these people every week. So you kind of get to know them, get used to them, rely on the laughs they bring you, and then you're given something else? It's just not the same. And you have to give credit to B. Arthur. I mean, the sarcasm, the straight women to balance out all these other over-the-top characters, and the heart of the show as I'm concerned, it's not really the same without her. So the show, of course, was doomed to fail. The story through line wasn't completely finished though. Sophia lived on in the spin-off series Empty Ness, where she returned to the Shady Pines nursing home the one she initially moved out of to live with Dorothy and thus form the Golden Girls. Seriously though, the continuity and the interconnections of the Golden Girls universe is amazing. And this is way before Marvel did it. This includes the Golden Girls, the spin-off show Empty Ness, spin-off show of a spin-off show, Nurses, and finally the sequel show, The Golden Palace. These ladies have always held a special place in my heart. If you don't like the Golden Girls, there's a special place in hell for you. <laughs> Just kidding, it's a free country. But seriously, how much of a douchebag do you have to be not to like these ladies? Alright, that's all I got for this one. 
See you later.